What's up YouTube? Welcome to .NET Mom. This is my video on how to install or how to add Bootstrap into Angular 4 applications. Even though you can use the same method in Angular 2 applications also. Before starting this video tutorial, I would like to ask you a favor. If you found this video helpful, please thumbs up this video. If you are new here, please be subscribed to this channel .NET Mom. This is my Visual Studio Code Editor. First of all, we have to create an Angular 4 application. For that, I will use the integrated terminal from this IDE. Go to View, then click on Integrated Terminal. Now you can type the Angular CLI command here. In order to create an Angular application, you can use the command ng new, then application name. I will name this application as Bootstrap in Angular. Hit Enter. So it will create a fresh Angular 4 application. So here we created a brand new Angular 4 application. Now let's navigate into project folder. In order to run this application, you can use this command ng serve, then double hyphen open. It will open the application in your default browser. So this is how the application looks like. Now we are going to replace this HTML with HTML which uses Bootstrap classes. In order to add or install Bootstrap into Angular 4 application, there are two methods. First method is the direct method in which we will use the CDN path or reference for JavaScript and CSS files. For that, let me search Bootstrap in Google. Bootstrap. Then I will go to this website getbootstrap.com. Now click on get started. So here you can see the CSS reference for Bootstrap and then here you can see the JavaScript file for the Bootstrap. First of all, we have the JavaScript file for the jQuery library itself. It is a slimmed version for fast jQuery. Then we have proper JS file. It is for the positioning of elements in HTML. So we need to use this JavaScript file. It is a dependency for this jQuery. Then we have Bootstrap. JavaScript file here. So first of all, I will copy this CDN reference for style sheet and we can add this style sheet reference inside the index page here. It is recommended to add style sheet in the HTML header part. So I will paste the link here. Now we need to add JavaScript references. So I will copy this and we can add these references in the body part. So I will copy this here. So here we add the CDN path for required files. Now I'm going to replace the default component, app component HTML here. Now I'm going to replace this default HTML with uh, HTML from the official website here. So I will copy the HTML for now bar, now bar. So I'm going to copy the HTML for this now bar here. So I will copy this and i will paste it here now let me save this back to the application it is already loaded so here you can see the bootstrap navbar that looks similar with this official navbar if i minimize this browser you can see the responsive navbar here if i click on this button you can see the menu items here so here we added bootstrap directly now let's try the second method in which we will install Bootstrap using npm. So I will remove the style sheet and JavaScript references that we have added inside this index file here. So now we need to install the packages for Bootstrap from npm. For that I will open one more terminal. So right click on project folder then open in terminal. First of all, we have to install jQuery, so you can pass the npm command like this, npm install jQuery, double hyphen save, hit enter. So here we have installed jQuery successfully, now we need to install proper JS, for that you can do this, npm install proper dot JS, double hyphen save, hit enter. Finally, we have to install bootstrap package. For that, you can pass the npm command like this. npm install ngx-bootstrap space bootstrap 
So this will install the latest stable version of Bootstrap. Currently it is Bootstrap 3.3.7. If you pass at the rate next here, it, then it will install the Bootstrap package. It might be the latest version or it might be the not released latest version. That means this next parameter is defined by the Bootstrap team, not by NPM. For now, I will use the npm command with specific version. So I will replace this next with a specific version number. Go to the official website and I will copy this uh, version number from here. Let me copy this and paste in here. Hit enter. So here we have installed Bootstrap and dependent packages. You can find this CLI and npm command in this video description. Finally, we have to add the references for the installed packages inside this file angular-cli.json Let me open that file here. Now we need to add the references inside styles array and scripts array. In order to see the installed packages, you can go to this folder node modules. Then you can look for bootstrap here. You can find this bootstrap here. Then you can find the jQuery here, Popper JS. First of all, I'm going to add the style sheet reference for Bootstrap. So expand this Bootstrap folder, then expand list folder, then expand CSS. Then you can see the file Bootstrap min.css. So I will add this file into this array here. Now you need to understand that when you are going to reference a file from this project, SRC folder will be the root folder. So first of all, we have to get out of this src file. So we can pass two dots, then forward slash, then node underscore modules, forward slash bootstrap, forward slash list, then css, then bootstrap dot min dot css. In the same way, we need to add the reference for script files. For now, I will copy paste the link reference that I have already prepared. First of all, we have jQuery library, then we have popper JS, then bootstrap file. Now, let me save this and go to the application. Here you can see that bootstrap is not working. Do you know why? If we make changes in files which is outside this src folder, then it won't be detected by automatic process or server. We have to rerun this application. For that, I will go to the first terminal in which we started this server. Now, in order to stop this server, I will use the shortcut Ctrl C. Then it will ask for, do you want to terminate this bad job? So I will pass Y for yes. Now we need to run this application again. So I will pass the command ng serve double hyphen open hit enter that's it here we have applied bootstrap theme suppose if you forgot to add javascript file for bootstrap then things like collapsing and expansion of menu won't work so make sure that you have added all these required files in your application so in this tutorial we have discussed how to install or add latest bootstrap in your angular 4 or angular 2 application thank you very much for watching this video tutorial if you found this video helpful please thumbs up this video and for more awesome videos like this please be subscribe to this channel dotnet more please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this have a nice day bye